pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. large seal population is growing and growing. So more than five years ago, when a lot of the Bay Island in Mexico, uh, a lot of huge gray and white buoy is uh, about 45 pounds of pressure to take underneath it. Um, that's what she has to smell that's what they like. Visioning the boat is a huge job. All in itself because it takes about three days before we leave the storage room for all the dry goods. Right now we're making trips and attempting. Very rare we come to a dock like this. In fact, they have such a big tank that we're constantly revolving the oil through the tank. We have PlayStation, you know, we have satellite TV. Unfortunately, satellite TV wasn't designed for people in the middle of the ocean to watch. So. <laughs>
smaller than your finger, and it's called seed quahogs. Seed, like seed that you would plant to grow corn, okay? So that goes into my healthy sediment, like this. I, I got this yesterday, and you just set it on the top like that. If that was alive, it would burrow itself in to my healthy sediment right here. That working with the ocean and the sediment in the ocean is exactly the same as on land, only that we are going to grow quahogs and we're also going to have animals that grow in that, by the way, that feed other animals. The same thing as seeds in, in agriculture. It's exactly the same parallel situation. Now this is a healthy sediment. Uh, when you get through here, I'm going to leave a little bit of time. Just come up and take a look at it, okay? And this has got eelgrass. See this eelgrass here? That's telling me that I have healthy sediment. If the eelgrass wasn't growing there, I know that there might be a problem. Might be, because it doesn't grow all over. But it's telling me that this is definitely a healthy sediment. Down the side of the tube. Careful. 
Careful. You want to go slow. I knew it. It's going to sit. Wait. Oh, it's just sitting there. The bubbles. And when you finish pouring your liquid, very carefully stand it upright. You want to not shake it as much as possible. Oh, it's going in between.
success here at C-Lab is a team effort. Uh, it takes a lot of people to pull together, folks in government, folks in the school department, folks in the community, parents and students themselves. And so there are a lot of people uh, to thank. Uh, I've got a couple more people to thank. Uh, now I'll have a couple of remarks, uh, a couple of observations to leave you with. Um, let me first thank uh, Mayor Kalitz uh, for his uh, unyielding devotion to this institution. Um, Mayor Kalitz had the vision as mayor uh, to establish uh, C Labs roots in ways that will be permanent. Uh, C Labs have many home building years, which I will tell you that much. Uh, what Art Dutra and Simon Boudoir started here 40 something years ago is a great thing. Uh, and what Mayor Kalitz was able to do during his tenure uh, is to make it permanent, institutionalize it, give it a home. Uh, and uh, we, um, all of us, parents, students, uh, and residents of New Bedford, uh, will be uh, forever in, in your debt, uh, Mayor Kalitz, for doing that. So thank you very much. spend six weeks, and this was touched upon by some of the other speakers, they spend six weeks of their summer for years in this highly improbable program of going to summer school and having fun. And again, that's a testament to your teachers, but it's also a sign of your dedication. There's a secret ingredient in the, in the C-Lab recipe and it, it's you young people all in here. You have a secret in here. Stay curious, pursue your dreams, and most importantly, always enjoy what you do. And finally, help others by sharing your knowledge and helping ensure the success of programs like this. So thank you very much.